do that. Okay. Recording in progress. All right. So first of all, before we get started and I show you everything that you'll need today, I just want to say thank you, a giant thank you to those of you that have purchased coffee for me, my virtual coffee from Susan, Gay, Tina, Gail, Lita, Marilyn, Leslie, Pamela, Fran, Heather, Francie, 57, Asma, Esugai, and those of you that want to remain anonymous, my heart, thank you so much. Um, it does cost some to do these programs, and so this really helps me um, with the back end cost of all the things. So I really, really, truly appreciate it, and I cannot thank you enough. Um, I am going to be doing a coffee club at some point, so I will tell you about that. Um, I'm just trying to plan it to make sure that um, it's going to be almost like a coffee talk where we all just kind of get together, drink coffee. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. It, it's still in the works. All right. Anyway, I, today is a lot of color and I want to show you my... Um, palette and what we'll be working on. So just in case you need to go and grab some things. All right. I actually forgot to write down that you need a place to mix. So if you want to grab like a plate or something to mix your colors in, um, a tissue paper. For me, I use it all the time because you know me, I, I spill. Um, let's see here and some colors that you like. And I'll tell you which ones I got. I just got a yellow, a red, a blue. All right, so those are the three that I'm starting with, those primaries. And then I have a neutral tint, which is like a black and a white. And this white has not been really used because I don't really tend to use white with um, my work. And then extra, I got three other colors I love which is Opera Rose, Moon Glow, and Cobalt Turquoise Light. Now these are, these are watercolors. So if you have other colors than watercolors, that's fine, or other paints, but today I'll be working with these. So I'll give you a second to grab those. If you have any questions, please put them on the chat, and we'll get started in a minute. Um, I have my sketchbook, I have a pencil, and a round brush. So these are the supplies I'll be using today. I kind of put everything else aside because I don't want to get confused. I don't want to get um, overwhelmed. All right, so take a second, grab what you need. And Francie, hello from Delaware. Cindy, hello from North Carolina. Fabian, I hope I said that right. Bonjour from Canada. And Bonnie is in Washington State. All right, Lisa from New Zealand. Awesome, so wonderful, and I'm so thankful that you're here joining us. Okay, so before we get started, I am going to, if you have a little palette, you can grab it. If not, just grab a plate. That's what I typically use, but I found this in my uh, stash of art supplies. So I'm like, oh, I'll use that. All right, Victoria's here from Mexico. Thank you, Victoria, for being here. Okay, so I am gonna start by grabbing my three colors and I'm just gonna put a little bit, watercolor is great because they go a long way. I'm gonna put a little bit up here, that's a yellow. And then I'm gonna take my red, if I can open it. Sometimes when I don't use it in a while or for a while it See how it's all caked on? Yikes. I better clean that later. And then my blue. Okay. Just putting it right on the little palette that I have here. And before I forget, I'm going to take my brush. Oh, let me just go ahead and put my neutral tint, which is the black, down. The cool thing about these watercolors is if you're using watercolor, you can reactivate them later 
I had some paints here earlier that I ended up um, using again and they've been sitting there for a while. So there's my white and then I'm going to put my Opera Rose. It's kind of fortuitous that this particular palette has enough holes for everything. If you have not tried the Moon Glow from Daniel Smith, oh my gosh, it is, I, it's like a mix of purple with indigo that is just, I can't, I cannot get enough. Moon Glow. I'm not sponsored by Di Daniel Smith, but wow, it's great. <laughs> If you want to buy yourself a color, that's a good one to get. And this one is Cobalt Turquoise. Hope I'm saying that right. Okay, so those are my paints. And now I'm going to try to go a little bit slow because... Oh, which red? I just used... Mine says permanent red, Susan. Um, but we're going to write it down on your page anyway. All right? So I'm going to start with my yellow. And you'll see what I mean by like almost becoming like a uh, like a chemist, right? So on here, mine is lemon yellow. So I'm just gonna put lemon yellow. Okay, clean my brush. Sometimes um, when I've had a hard day. I just sit down and I do this. It feels so good. And this one is a permanent red. I don't really, I mean, if you want to, you could write down where they're from or what, um, what brand it is. But to me, I'm just kind of writing down the color. Ooh, look at that blue. That is a marine blue. Okay. Everybody doing okay? Just kind of relieve yourself of all the things that's happened this week. Forget about the rain outside and just mm -hmm. focus. I'm getting some colors on the page. Okay, this is neutral tint for me. If I can spell neutral. The white, I don't know if it'll show up, but I'll still put it on there. It's kind of showing up. It's titanium white. Okay. And just, I'm just working my way down my little page here. Then I'm going to take my three favorite colors, whatever colors you like. Um, I'm going to put down my Opera Rose. Then this one is the Moon Glow. I feel like with watercolor, a little really goes a long way. So I, I just absolutely love it. I don't know if you can tell, but this is, I'll zoom in a little bit. It's kind of purplish. Moon glow. And then I have my cobalt torque. I don't know how to say that word, turquoise light. My CTL, my cobalt. Okay, so those are my three color or my three colors that I enjoy or I'll be using. And so now I'm gonna clean my brush. And we're going to start some mi mi mixing and some recipe making. Now, I can't cook, 
to save my life. I really can't. And um, my husband and my son does the cooking. But to me, I feel like this is my way of cooking with colors, you know, just putting things, different things together. So I enjoy that a lot. All right, so I have this little tray. And if you have an extra plate or an extra place where you could mix, that'd be great. I'm gonna start with my lemon yellow. And I'm just gonna go in order here. I'm gonna put yellow down. You actually, here's what we'll do. I was gonna um, mix on the tray, but I think you could just mix it right on the page. Putting my lemon yellow down, and right on top of that, I'm putting my red. And I'm just gonna actually mix them together right on here. It's giving me a pretty pale orange. So you can kind of, if it's like, oh, it's a little too pale, you add a little bit of the recipe, you add, you know, yellow. It makes it a little pop a little more. So that is my lemon yellow plus red. So now I'm writing down what I put together. Then I'm grabbing that lemon yellow putting it down. For some reason too, when I put my brush down, it feels good. <laughs> like, I don't know, it calms me down after a long day, just making these little marks. All right. The dangerous thing is um, if your brush is dirty, sometimes it muddies the colors. And I kind of put everything in order here, but I may accidentally forget. See, now I'm dirtying my yellow, so I'm going to take some of that out. Okay, it's making a pretty green. So this is lemon yellow plus marine blue. And you just work your way across. So now I'm going to do my yellow. This is a really powerful way of, um, if you're traveling, it's great to not have to carry a lot of things. So if you don't have to carry a bunch of colors, try to bring just a red, blue, and yellow, and then you can kind of mix them together. And you can come up with so many colors. So this is my lemon yellow plus neutral tint, which is actually giving me a gray. That's interesting. It also matters which one you put down. I'm kind of putting the lemon yellow down first. Whichever one you put down first sometimes um, affects what you put or the color itself. All right, Loretta, don't worry. If you have to go for a few minutes, that's fine. We'll just be here. Lemon yellow plus titanium white. Everybody doing okay? Feels good, doesn't it? I mean, to me, I'm just, it's really, I'm just having you come hang out with me and just playing. <laughs> I just love, just really enjoy doing this kind of thing. All right, now we'll go to red and I'll put my red down. So yummy. So the red is down first, and then I'm gonna put the yellow on top. Let's see what that looks like. It looks just like the one above it. <laughs> Which we kinda knew. Our hypothesis is correct. All right, then I'm gonna do my permanent red. What I really would like is for you to have like almost an encyclopedia of colors that you enjoy. Ooh, look at that, that marine blue and that permanent red. Magic. Anybody have any questions? 
Everybody doing okay? The only thing I can suggest is try to go in kind of the same order. So now I'm going to do my red. With my neutral tint. The cool thing about this is I end up coming up with colors that you normally wouldn't, you know, combos that are like, whoa. Like I'm really liking this permanent red with the marine blue. PR plus MT. Now we will use the red with some white. Ooh, that gives you kind of like a nice almost pink. Permanent red plus titanium white. All right, everybody doing okay? Yep, okay, great. Let's see here. Let's move on to our blue. So putting a marine blue down. I love hearing people's water water plops. <laughs> Cause I'm water plopping over here too. And then I am going to add lemon yellow. I almost went out of order there. So really interesting green. If you don't have permanent red, just any red, like if you have a crimson, that works too. Um, any red color is fine. Um, these blues, I, I'm just kind of, I just went through and I just picked different, um, different colors. I, I didn't really specify a specific one. So just grab, um, your marine blue looks like phthalo. Does it? Yeah, maybe it does have that vibrancy to it. Um, yeah, this one is from Mission Paints, the marine blue. It's so pretty. Okay. Now I'm gonna put my marine blue. See, when I get talking, I'm like, forget what I'm doing. And then, this is where I mean by the chemistry of the colors, just the adding subtracting, coming up with new ones. That one's a little too, it's almost like coming up with your own new formula, which I just love. Okay, marine blue. And you're gonna have some that are, of course, similar, cause they intersect with each other, but that's okay. This one is marine blue with my neutral tint. Yes, neutral tint. See, I forgot there for a second. Ooh, that's almost like an indigo together. That might be nice for like a background of a flower or something. Marine blue plus neutral tint. Then marine blue with white. And that kind of gives me like a super pale, like almost like a baby blue, which I love. Marine blue plus titanium white. And I haven't played with like Chinese white or other types of white to see if that makes a difference. It, probably does. What can I use for neutral? Louisa says, um, you can use a black if you want. Louisa, it doesn't have to be exactly this. Uh, I just got whatever I had and this was the darkest. So that's why I have that. Okay. I am going to skip neutral tint and titanium white. All right. Because we kind of know what they look like from above. So I'm just gonna skip those two, but you can go back and redo that. That's part of your homework, okay? <laughs> Mix those guys together.
because I want us to have some time to paint some flowers too. All right, I'm jumping over to my Opera Rose. Taking some Opera Rose, putting it down. I love Opera Rose. Opera Rose always reminds me of spring. Then I'm gonna take my Lemon Yellow and just put it right on top. And this normally creates like a like a bizarre color that you would not, it's almost like a peachy, a peachy pink. So this is Opera Rose plus Lemon Yellow. Then I'm gonna take my Opera Rose again. And I'm gonna mix it with my red. Right. So it's starting to be a more vibrant pink. The Opera Rose is almost like a neon to me. So OR plus PR. One second, just gonna shut my door here. Next, my, I'm trying to remember, going in order, there we go. Permanent, ro or Opera Rose with, I'm curious to see what Opera Rose and Marine Blue, what they're gonna do together. Oop, I think I put too much Marine Blue, so I'm just gonna go back and put some Opera Rose, but I have tainted the color. <laughs> It made a bright purple. Fun, almost like a neon purple. Plus marine blue. And then I'm gonna try it with my neutral tint. Or black, whatever you have. It is hard to not mix them together <laughs> accidentally on the page. Um, I mean, on the palette, so that's what the tissue's for. This is like a weird magenta. Opera Rose plus neutral tint. Okay, and I'll take some Opera Rose again. And then I am going to add some white. That gives it like a dusty color, a dusty pink. Titanium white. All right, so part of your homework, I'm just gonna continue on to these last two colors. Part of your homework is to finish the neutral tint and titanium white and see how that goes. And then there's a second part to the homework that I will show you in a minute. All right, Moon Glow. Moon Glow plus, plus, I'm gonna do Moon Glow plus Opera Rose just to see how that looks. Ooh. So you can, you can mix the two that you, um, it's actually gonna grow your little mixtures here. Moon Glow plus Opera Rose. And then Moon Glow plus Lemon Yellow. Ooh. Ooh, I, I feel like it's gonna, on my palette, it kinda gave me like a, Really cool looking gray. I like that. So moon glow plus lemon yellow. And I'm getting paint everywhere, but that's okay. Moon glow. Plus, everybody doing okay? All right, I hope you are. It's a lot, right? Going back and forth, remembering what you're doing. It's very therapeutic to me 
Um, turn on some classical music or some calm music. I have this Spotify playlist called Focus. And um, I, I usually play something like that. And then I do these kind of swatches. Um, this is Moon Glow plus Permanent Red. We're almost there. Moon Glow plus Marine Blue. So on your, while you're doing this, I'd love to know what, what your three um, fun colors that you picked. Cause I picked Moon Glow, Opera Rose, and the Cobalt Turquoise. What did you pick? I, I'd love to um, know because then if I, you know, if it sounds so cool, I might end up getting it <laughs> to try. So type it in the chat. Um, I'm always on the lookout for great colors. Or, you know, indigo, turquoise, magenta. Ooh, mana, that sounds yummy. Uh, Francie, cobalt, magenta, and orange. Ooh, that's, oh, I cannot wait to see how that looks. Louisa, mint and peach? Sap green, paints gray, and cobalt blue. I cannot wait to see this in a minute when you guys show it to me. Ugh, that's so cool. Sap green, mint, and peach. I forgot about those colors. I just really grabbed whatever was like right on my, you know, page and I didn't even think about some of the ones you picked right there. That's cool. So Moon Glow plus Neutral Tint. Margaret, Moon Glow, Opera Rose, Salator. Ooh, we're close. Oh, wow. Opera Rose, Cobalt, True Light, Permanent Magenta. Are you coming up with some cool, like, mixes? Is it? Oh, I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Moon Glow plus Neutral Tint. Neutral Tint and Moon Glow right now is like, they look very similar. And I don't know if it's because I messed it up or added too much or, you know me, I talk too much while I'm doing this. Ooh, the moon glow and the white. That's nice. Do you see how like it's so different as you move down? I love it. Zoe says mauve viridian and flesh color. I saw, um, I had a flesh color and then for some reason, I ended up with the turquoise, but I'm curious to see how that looks like because I wanted to try that also. All right, so now I'm on my last row. Here we are, almost to the finish line. Um, Fabienne, I hope I'm saying that right. Fabienne, Moon Glow and Cridacarone Red. Nice. All right, here we go. Cobalt, Torque. Because you know I can't say that one. Turquoise. That's a hard one for me. I don't know why. And then Opera Rose. This kind of reminds me of um, like a sticker. Cobalt Turquoise. Like those um, Sarah Lisa Frank stickers like back in the day where they would like be neon colored. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Okay. Cobalt, turquoise. I keep saying it. I, I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but unfortunately, I just have to keep saying it because that's the color. <laughs> I should have picked flesh tint. All right. That's a nice yellow. So cobalt, turquoise light, plus lemon yellow. Turquoise, Carol is how you say it. Th thank you, Carol. Turquoise. <laughs> I still feel like I'm saying it wrong, but thank you, Carol. You you put the pronunciation for me. I really appreciate that. That does help. I could have like Siri say it for me, I guess. So I'm putting my cobalt down and then some red. That's interesting. 
my colors are starting to get messy. Um, permanent rose. Oh, kind of is deep. It, it's so interesting how the colors have such, you know, from where we start to where we're going. It's very, very interesting. Okay. Now I'm moving on to my marine blue with the cobalt. That just gave me a more vibrant blue. CT plus MB. And then lemon yellow. Okay, neutral tint. See, I'm already forgetting where I was. Almost to the finish line. Ooh, I like that. I don't, I, for some reason, I the grays, when they're all mixed together and they're muddy and dark, that really speaks to me. Cobalt turquoise plus neutral tint. And I'll take some white, oops. I'll take some cobalt. And throw in some white. Okay, now this time I want you to kind of go crazy and on the bottom section, try to see what the opera rose, right? Moon glow, your other color, and your cobalt, what do they all, or your three that you picked, what do they look like when you mix them all together? Like, what do you come up with? And kind of play with the consistency. Like how much you add. I'm making like a interesting, almost brown neutral. So those are the three that I have all mixed together. I'm just kind of putting them to the side here. And I'm going to put down Opera Rose plus Moon Glow plus cobalt turquoise. Okay, I'm gonna give that a second to chill and dry. And then I'm gonna check on you. How are you doing? Do you wanna hold yours up to see um, how it looks so far? Oh, look at that, Margaret, that looks amazing. It looks like a science project, fancy, I love it. Ooh, Linda. Look at you, that looks like an abstract piece already. So fun. iPhone Donna, look at that. Okay, iPad, I love all the colors. I love the notes, Carol, those boxes are great. Fran, Louisa, I see that. I love the really dark one there. Cindy and Zoe, you will have to, if you are not on Facebook, See if you can, Beth, I see yours. Ooh, very, I like your lines there. Um, see if you can add these on Facebook. If not, that's okay. Um, but I would love to see these because they just look so amazing. The color combinations you guys are, are coming up with looks great. All right. I put, Gail says, I put Burnt Sienna, Opera Pink, and Moon Glow, a cool maroon. Ooh, I can't wait to try that. All right, so what I'll do is um, I'll save the chat, and then I'll also add that to the recording maybe of this, so then you can see what other people have tried if you want to try it. All right, now I want you to take a second and look at the colors that you put together and pick the ones that you really like. So pick like five colors that you like. Um, I like, and just put a little check mark next to them. Like one of your, some of your mixes that you did. So one, two, let's pick five. Hmm, it's hard to pick. Okay, so I picked um, a couple reds 
and then a green, and then a couple of dark colors. Think of, um, cause we'll be painting some flowers. So think of a, a combination that you like. Um, pick a green for leaves, pick a dark for some of the darks. Um, pick something that you normally wouldn't pick. All right, so I'm just gonna choose five. And while you're doing that, I'll show you. I do this all the time, see? Here's another page <laughs> where I just sit there and just quietly come up with my mad scientist color schemes. All right, so pick your colors. And then we're gonna mix them on another piece of, or uh, on your plate, All right? So mix a few colors, make a little bit of a pile. So I'm gonna do my lemon yellow with my permanent red, and I'm gonna make a pile of that right here so I can reach and grab it. You might need to get more paint since we played around a lot. So I just have that at the ready. Then I picked lemon yellow and marine blue. So I'm, this is called the pre-mixing. I'm just getting this ready. I'm gonna need more lemon yellow. And like I said, I'm just mixing it up the top here. Some lemon yellow. And then I'm gonna mix my upper rose with some permanent red. I don't know why, but that spoke to me. Okay, so that's what's happening up here from down here that I picked. Then I'm gonna take my marine blue and my neutral tint. And that gives me, oh, that only gives me four. I gotta pick one more. You can also pick one of the ones you already have if you want to. But just for bonus points, do a fun pre-mixture. Cobalt turquoise with marine blue. Okay, so now I have my five. I am going to put this aside or take my sketchbook and just turn it over. So then I still have it on the other side. I'm just gonna work upside down, right? And then this guy, just have close by, so if you want to um, make more pre-mixes, make more mixes, you can. Okay, let's take your photo that we had from the, from our reference, and we're gonna pick some flowers to paint, and you could do the whole thing if you want, but I'm gonna just focus on maybe right here. So as you know, I will probably fold mine. If you are looking at the source material on your PDF, uh, on your device, sometimes that's easier because you can actually, you can actually just um, make it, you know, zoom in. So, this is gonna be my my little cheat sheet of, that's what I'm focusing on. All right, with a pencil, I'm gonna pick a watercolor pencil. You can use your pencil, whatever you want. I'm gonna pick a pencil that you can see, so you don't have to pick the same color as mine. I just wanna be able to, okay, you can see that, good. All right. I'm gonna put some of my, just gonna quickly trace, not trace, quickly sketch some flowers. These are the blue flowers. I am just being really, really loose. There's a little bit of a rose right here. 
that's my rose. I'm not gonna put too much detail. There's like a weird reddish poppy looking floral here. They have a lot of tentacles. I don't know how you would say that. Then some leaves and then a giant, beautiful, luscious flower at the bottom here, the pink one. All right, so this is my map. I'm not writing everything down. I'm just kind of giving myself a map. Where can I upload a photo? Francie, you can put it on the Facebook page or you can actually um, tag me on Instagram or some exciting news. I am actually creating a site where I'll be putting all of these um, Let's Paint With Joy things and then the discussion page will be there. So then you can upload the photos to the site. All right, but that's coming soon. So now I'm gonna take my weird marine blue mix and I'm gonna try to use the blue there. So what you're really doing is you're using colors that maybe not even on this page and you're just painting. I'm gonna add some dark to that. Now we're kind of going through this pretty fast, but I'm hoping that maybe you could take, what you can take from this is you can do this at home, at your leisure, and just kind of make some mixes that you like, and then see what you could come up with, and then use the same photo and just paint, you know? See, see what kind of, it doesn't have to look like this particular reference photo. My red, there's my rose. It's not exactly like the photo, but it's close. Weirdly, it's close. Normally I try to do something completely different, but for some reason today I am doing what is on the page, kind of. <laughs> my weird green is not green enough, so I'm gonna add some more. Which one did I pick? Lemon yellow and marine blue. I do not have enough of that, so I'm gonna make another pre-mixture. So try to use the color mixes, the strange color mixes. I say strange, but to me it's magical color mixes you have to create something. I'm gonna try to do these orangey, yellowish leaves, and, or I mean petals, but I'm gonna use a different color because I don't have a straight yellow that I'm using. This is really to just kind of train your brain to see a color but not necessarily do it exactly like what you have like experiment right mine's coming out oops i put a green where it shouldn't be green but that's okay we can turn it into a leaf Making more pre-mixture of my yellow and what color? Marine blue. And you're going to come up with some really cool looking, especially those of you that are like, you know, the flesh tint, the mint. I cannot wait to see what color schemes you come up with. Okay, for this pink, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna cheat and get another color. <laughs> do that too if you want. I feel like I'm missing, I'm missing some. Like my, my soul, my body wants more colors, so I'm just gonna go for it. I'm taking a, uh, 
pink, my opera pink, and just trying to put that on this side. Just really loose when I'm doing these. I'm just really putting the brush down, lifting, pressing down, lifting, just at the energy of the piece. I'm not trying to make it exactly. I'm gonna add some dark just to where the leaves are. I'm gonna turn my leaves dark blue. Which was marine blue. Oh no, oh yeah, it was marine blue and neutral tint. So if you're using watercolor, like I said, you can leave that on your palette and reuse it again another time. You can um, reactivate them with a spray bottle or just water. So your flowers may not look exactly like this photo because you're using your pre-mixed or your experimental colors, which is fun. I just keep running out. Are you coming? Are you, is that happening to you? <laughs> like running out and then having to mix more? Um, yeah, sometimes that just happens. All right, so I'm moving down here. And I'm kind of just making up flowers as I go. The great thing about a round brush is it's it's almost to me made to make petals so if you can invest in a nice round brush they really help with making flowers try to look at your um, page and whatever color you haven't used in a little bit try to add that I'm turning some of my roses blue I'm turning some of my leaves black or whatever dark color I have Just making a loose floral piece. It doesn't even really look like the actual photo anymore, but that's okay. The beautiful thing about um, watercolor too is there's like little happy accidents happening. Like I love the way this green and this pink kind of um, the transparency together. I, I really do appreciate that. And because I can't just leave things as is, I might go back and uh, and I'll show you what I'll do. I'll probably get um, colored pencil and just add a little bit of fun little marks. So now what you could do is whatever you have left over, like I'm nearly done with my piece here. Whatever I have left over, I'm just gonna try to use up because you don't really want to waste paint. So just using my pre-mixture. What you could do also is um, you can mix all your colors together, only if you want to. Come up with a really fun neutral and that could be your background. So I'm mixing all of the colors that I had there and then let's see how it would look as a background. It's very um, hard for my brain sometimes when I don't have a container. I always want to put a box for some reason. So I'm making a strange gray with my three colors. And just doing a little bit of a background. So you can do that too. Making a weird purple here when I added some of the red to the neutral mix or whatever mix I had. So I'm really like combining six different colors right now. And it's coming with this fun purple. Uh, 
Okay, so just keep working and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the homework. There's more homework because we're taking a break for next month. Um, I have some family things that I have to do on that one day. And it seems like when I reschedule a painting with Joy on a different day, it throws everybody off. So we'll just take a uh, break for April. Then we'll be back to do some flowers for May. Um, but for homework, I would like for you to hang on. I am. I'm enjoying like adding this color, so I'm just gonna go with that for just a second, and I'll tell you what the homework is. Okay. For homework, this is what I would like for you to do. I would like for you to look around and um, notice several things around you, the different ways that colors are combined together. For example, look at this book. Do you see how this book cover has like purples and pinks and the orange on top of orange? Um, this is so great. So what I would do with this is I would make myself a little chart and just try to capture the different colors in a line. You don't even have to specifically put them in any order. I would maybe just do like a pink up here and then a red. Do you know what I mean? So just kind of look around you and here, I'll read you what I have here. This is my son Seth's shirt. He was wearing a blue shirt and I just kind of captured the colors from his shirt. This one is from the Ruffles cheddar and sour cream bag. <laughs> you know? So just like that, you know, just kind of, I just want you to take some time and just really um, notice the colors around you because sometimes we forget that and then try to capture that in lines. Um, this one is from a Fairfield Potter Porter book, the cover of his book. So it's not even like his painting, it's just the cover. Um, let's see here. This one is, you know, those, is it Harney teas, those tea tins? Um, this one is from a tea tin. It had all these colors in there. So I just, it doesn't have to be lines. It could be strange shapes too. All right. So that's what I would like to, for you to do. Um, yeah. So the tea tins. Those are fun. Just look around you. Look look at what you you see. Like, like I said, I did a Ruffles chip bag. I did my son's shirt, um, a book cover. Even um, I have this, I have this cup of pens. So maybe I'll do a blue, a yellow, a pink. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there it is. So just kind of take some time and do some color, color practice. Maybe I have this drink here. So you might just see green, but now that I'm looking at it, there's like a different blue here, a darker green, a, like there's three different greens on here, a white, a really deep blue, another blue. So it really makes you focus and it makes you kind of go outside of what you normally would see and um, and notice what's around you. So even book covers, like I said, um, if you have little trinkets, I have this little doll that my son gave me from when he was a toddler. And so it has pink, it has blue, you know, things like that. Does that make sense? I hope that yeah. makes sense. Okay, good. So you're just making, um, you're just making little tiny markings, and then this is good so that you can remember, like, oh, I, I you could discover new colors, um, and sometimes they bleed together to make other fun colors. And the only reason why there's numbers next to that is those are the colors from my palette. So, 
So Beth says, I love that approach. Great, Beth, yeah, try that. I can't wait to see. Carol says, is this what you've been doing on your short videos? I've been trying, yes, you're right, I have been doing that. Um, which I kind of was just like, uh, I don't know, do I still want to do that? But yeah, so yeah, these guys. Oh. Just kind of looking at what's around and then capturing those colors. And it doesn't have to be in any specific order. Um, all right, so that is my little tip or my little um, homework for you for today. Now that I'm saying this, I'm seeing all these colors around me. Like, look at this. These, these are just a stack of post-it notes right next to me. You know what I mean? Then I'd be like, oh, I can put that down. Um, what else? What else? Oh, look at this. This is a eraser. There's a green, there's a black, there's a yellow. You know what I mean? So that's what I really am going to challenge you to is just to see in a different way and to notice what's around you um, and to play with color because um, I just feel like we need more color. <laughs> you know, especially here, I feel it in the winter. I'm like craving color all the time. All right, so this is my little photo which does not even look like the picture so i can't wait to see what yours looks like hi everyone i wanted to hop back on here and tell you a little bit more about painting with joy painting with joy is a monthly paint hangout time where we gather together i'll give you the photo ahead of time or reference topic and ideas um, and then we'll gather together right now via Zoom and we will talk, you can ask me questions, we'll show each other your work and it's just the time to just relax, um, just chill, hang out and create some art together. So information about Painting with Joy will be in the description below. Um, and yeah, definitely check it out and register if you haven't already. Hope to see you there.